ever wished that you had a way to organize those mile a minute thoughts? Well, perhaps it's time you look into the therapeutic art of journaling. Here to offer some advice on the benefits of journaling and to show us how to update the classic notebook is our own Daily Connections house and home expert, Lisa Shepard Stewart. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Tracy. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Great. Good. Welcome back. Thank you. So this is very nice. Mm -hmm. It's a nice alternative to the old standard ugly book right. that we all use. Right. The black and white marble. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. From you know, third grade. Exactly. <laughs> it's a little updated. So why don't you tell me what journaling is first? Okay, journaling is really a way to just, it can be recording your thoughts. Um, there are different types of journals, um, maybe food out food journals for allergies, travel oh. journals okay. that might help you um, to record a special event. And um, even when you're getting married, the wedding preparation can be its own journal. That oh, that's a good so one, So there are a lot too. of ways to just kind of document your life. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the examples that you have. Right. Can you talk to me about what you've done with some of these? Okay, here I've used the mud cloth fabric to cover just a basic notebook, maybe even from the dollar store. So it's not an expensive uh, venture at all. And what I've done here, do you see the pen? I love that. Actually holds the um, book closed. You've got two tabs, one in the front, one in the back. Got it. And it actually helps you to hold the book closed. Oh. Okay. Another accent that we added on this particular book is a beaded um, bookmark. I love that. Just for a little more accent, you know, brings more color in, a little more excitement, a little texture. Awesome. So it's now, nice what kind look. of is this? Just a what this is that? This is a piece? wax cotton cording. They use it for jewelry. Okay. Just a nice strong cording. Got you it. Just string your beads on, you knot it, and it gives you a little more um, great you know, durability. And this is good. So you have one in the front and then one in the back, right? And, and then, then it you keeps put, it closed. Put them through, and then the pen holds it closed. That's nifty. I like, like, like that. that. So if you're traveling, that's a good tip. Right. Mm -hmm. It always has the pen handy. There's no excuse to not journal. Exactly. I like that too. Right. And this is a standard. This is a little more basic one. It's again, it's a piece of mud cloth, okay. which is um, from Molly, hand hand colored fabric. Wow! And this one is not embellished yet, so something that you, that you could, once you do the basic booklet like we're going to cover today, you can then do beadwork or you know photos or anything you want to put on there. Oh, great! Just to kind of personalize it. Which is just like this one, the photos you right. mentioned. Right now, this one is uh, basically a picture frame added to a very plain book. We've got the spiral binding. Okay. And the picture frame just kind of adds another, kind of introduces you to the book and to the whole theme of it. It could be a travel journal from a particular trip that you might have taken. Right. Um, like I said, the wedding planning, it could be that kind of a journal That's or any perfect. kind of special event. And you could have a nice a little special picture. Yeah, it just kind of up. really builds the whole mood for the book. And then document everything that's going right. on inside. Right. That's good. I like that. Mm -hmm. And then what are these? These are these are part these of the are embellishments. Some embellishments, some options that you can have. You can do little brass be um, brass beads, brass pieces, oh. Um, oh, what's buttons. This thing too? This is fiber that I kind of thought was interesting. It's like a paper fiber. Oh wow, that's neat. And it just adds a lot of texture and interest and the way, like your eye kind of is drawn to it. Sure. So I kind of like that. You can use it on a, a more plain journal, maybe like this one. Okay. Um, and just, you know, add some things to it, layer it, and you can do some... That's very sort of interesting. Like, so I always like that natural look. So I do too. a lot of twigs in my work and do stuff yeah? like that. Yeah. <laughs> Great. It's always fun. So let's get started. Why don't we make one? Okay. Uh, we're going to start with the basic book. Like I said, this one's unlined, which okay. is nice for artists or just for free form writing. Okay, good. Um, the thing with the journal is that there really aren't any rules, so you don't want to have to be stuck even to, to you know, rule paper at that right. point. You just want to be able to be free and write. And these aren't expensive. No, these, uh, this is maybe about three dollars. That's it. Nice hardcover book. I that's think a hundred and some pages in it, so it'll, it'll last you a while. <laughs> so that's the key, getting something with a hardcover. Is that what I a really need to start with um, first? A hardcover is good. Just, like you said before, if you plan to travel with the book, okay. you want something a little bit more durable. Got it's, it. If it's more of a nightstand book, even then it's just, it's a nice set. A little more durable. It'll just last longer, because it's the part of the journaling is that you want to go back later and read it. Okay. And learn from it and, you know, pick up little, little insights you might not have really realized. Okay. So you want to have it durable so it'll last a long time. That's great. Mm -hmm. And I like you said that this is an unlined version. Right. So for right. people that are doing their artwork, that's right. another great way to express You can include sketches yourself. or you can um, glue little, you know, photos into it. And oh, that's just neat. And give more flexibility. Under great. Mm -hmm. So for this purpose today, we're going to use this kind, right? Right. You kind of like the black and gold. I do like you that. You and your metallics. <laughs> I do. <laughs> metallics. Okay. And what we're going to do actually to um, cover the book is use this product. It's called Paperback Fusible Web. Paperbacked fusible right. web. Right, paperback meaning it's got a paper backing. That's the easy part. Okay. Fusible <laughs> meaning iron on. So okay. we're using a household iron oh. to apply it to the fabric. Got it. And the web is that it's a glue. So what we're going to do is apply this paperback fusible web mm -hmm. to the fa back of the fabric, the wrong side. Okay. And it makes the fabric into an iron on. So oh. we can then wrap the fabric around the book, and we're just going to iron on the fabric to the book. That's so cool. Okay, so now we'll I can this. get this where? Um, fabric stores in the interfacing section. They have okay. a rack of interfacing. They're usually white fabrics. Okay. They're used for stability, and that'll it'll be there. Or craft stores may have it packaged. So you look in the package section. Got as it. As opposed to being, you know, um, by, the, by the yard. And you also brought other webbing, Other right? fusibles, right. This is another fusible product. 
which is fusible tape. You can use it for fusible hems. Fusible tape. Right. People use it for hems a lot. I was looking for this the this other is, day and I couldn't I'm find it. You can find it. It's so popular. It's now in supermarkets because oh. people like it for quick hems, people that don't want to sew. Hello. So you can. <laughs> yeah, I've heard. Yes. So you can even um, go to a supermarket at this point or, oh. you know, just basic stores. That's will have great. It. Now, this one doesn't have the paper on it. So you always want to be careful to have the two layers of fabric covering the web. You don't want to have it. And you don't want to have it touch your your iron directly. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm going to have that little tip there. This one's a little bit different because it has the, the paper on, on it, it to protect the iron. So okay. should we cut this out? Is that what we yeah, do Yeah, we're going to actually first? trim this to the size of the book just about. We want to have about an inch to an inch and a half of border of fabric all the way around. Okay. Okay, so we're going to... So you do the paper, too, with it. We might as well do the paper, too, right? Got and it. And you can just kind of trim it. So Go over there, like on the edge, yeah, like it's, that. Yeah, it's approximate because you're actually going to cover the inside and make okay. it nice and neat. Great. So we'll just trim this. Now, where did you get this fabric? This particular one I got in a, in a quilt shop, and okay. they sell pieces called fat quarters. Oh, really? And if you see a fat quarter, it's a quarter yard of fabric, and it's cut as a fat dimension as opposed to like a. Of a lengthwise dimension. That's the perfect size for a book. Okay. So if you go in and you see a fat quarter, they're inexpensive, maybe quarter. about two dollars. Okay. And you can get a really nice design. So is that leftovers of things that they sometimes sell? Sometimes leftovers. Sometimes they, they, they cut them on purpose because quilters want to have variety. Got it. So they'll buy fat quarters of four different fabrics rather than one yard of one fabric. Okay. And they get the oh, like a palette. I get it. Yeah. Got so it. They kind of do that. So move this across. All right. And now we're going to apply the fusible web to the fabric. Okay. So our iron's nice and hot. You have got it. So I'm just ironing that on. Right. And that'll glue to the other side. Right. It applies the glue to the wrong side. Again, the wrong side of the fabric. The wrong side. You don't want to use, do the right side. You'll be back at the fabric store buying more there fabric. There you go. Right. We don't want to do that. Right. So just going to iron this. If it overlaps a little bit, that's fine. Now, should your iron be on steam or not steam? Oh, uh, you don't really need the steam for the paper. You for don't. This part of it. If, you, if it's on steam, it won't hurt it. Okay. Because um, sometimes they say leave the steam off. Right. That's right. not I, a good I find that it's, it's not really either way. It's not really a problem too much. It doesn't really take long to to transfer this glue to the fabric. Okay. So you see the little puckering right there. I do. There? So and that's a good thing. Means usually it's pretty much set, and you let it do a little TV cool. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Real quick cool, and then we're going to. So it cools pretty quickly too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh and wow. We're going to peel this. If you Look feel it, you can always see it, but you can feel it. So it feels a little bit like a like a coating on there. Yeah. That means that the glue's applied. Now here it's not oh, quite applied. Got it. So you want to iron that the iron more. again. Mm -hmm. Just like this. And we're just we have a couple minutes left, okay. so we're even running out of time already. Already. So I'll just show you the, the quick version. Right. So you would just want to make sure right, you, you get just your hit covers. That again. I mean your corners, I should say. So we've got this. Okay. And we've got our book. Wow. That lays on really easily, though. Yeah, I it's, like a, that. it's a nice. This we didn't very do simple. because. I guess the iron was because this can was be really good. intimidating if to just to look at, but it's really very right, simple. Right. So we've got this. That's nice. And you see already it's halfway I done. Like it. So we like the easy projects, right? We do, <laughs> but nice ones. That's great. Iron. So you give it a little touch more of the mm -hmm. iron. Well, you can to do it a little longer, but we're just going to do this a little quickly here. All right. And I'm just going to trim that. That's great. Now, like I was saying, some of the other um, the other journals that you can do, I do. I keep a dream journal. Oh, and that's really interesting right. to even go back a few years later and just analyze, kind of analyze a little bit. Just a little, uh, you know, amateur analyzing. Have you come <laughs> to any conclusions? I have to come to, come to a couple. So really? A re recurring type of dream you might see show uh -huh. up over a few months and you wouldn't remember them, but as, when you have them written down, you can really kind of get into that. Okay, so we've got our book here. Okay. Now, just very quickly, we're going to cut the corners. Cut the corners. To reduce a little bit of bulk. So, okay. let's do these quickly. I'm going to just do these first two, or? I'm sorry? Just do the first yeah, two? Sure. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, because we've got a minute. And then we'll be turning oh, our that. corners in. Okay. Like this. Give that a quick tap. And again, you do it a little more carefully. Right. <laughs> For these purposes today. All right. We're just going to wow, show. Wow, that's really simple. I want to show you the finish I like right that. here. Look how great that like looks. That. Looks really professional, right? And I, no sewing. And no sewing. And then we have here ah, black this, lining. That's okay. really going to finish it off. Oh, wow. Nice and neatly. And this is also a fusible or an iron-on interfacing. Great. Okay, so it's black fabric that you can iron on. Look at that. And you oh, wow, that really makes it nice. So the iron really just makes it, yeah. So all you need is an iron. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. And then you would add your embellishments. But you see how, how easily it How goes. simple. And that's great because that cleans it up. I like right, that. Right, it gives a nice clean finish. A nice edge. And you've got your book. Wow. And you can do your 
Actually, I guess it would go this way. <laughs> and then at that point, you, you said you use the glue gun sometimes. Right, and you, you can would embellish. put embellishments. Mm -hmm. Look how and great the embellishments that looks. would depend on where you're going to keep the book. If you're going to have it at home, this okay. is fine. But if you're going to travel with it, this may be a little bit too bulky. Makes sense. Of an embellishment. So you want to do something flatter. And it'll get beat up. Right, right. So it depends on where you're going to keep it. So this is something that I'd keep at home, something more cherished. I would think that so, right. You're not going right. to mess and then, with. And a nightstand or something. And right. then something for travel, you can just put flat things mm -hmm. pretty much. Mm -hmm. Lisa, this is great. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Very simple. I like this. Great. Excellent. Awesome. <laughs>